Hello Gemini, this is your girl Aqua Goddess. I hope you all had a wonderful new year. I'm here to give you your general reading for the next 48 hours. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in getting a personal reading with me, purchasing any manifestation jewelry, donating to the channel, anything of that sort. The information will be in the description box below. So Gemini, I've already prayed and meditated over your energy. So we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold, and anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? For the next 48 hours, what are the messages for Gemini? So what I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that in the next 48 hours, you may get a phone call from somebody or shit. You could be calling them, but yourself wherever you may fit. But I'm definitely seeing a lot of hot, passionate interactions. This is somebody that likes being around you. You excite this person. I'm seeing that you may jump on this person if you're a feminine energy. And you may wrap your arms around their neck and kiss them. But I'm also picking up the energy that this is a sneaky link. This person definitely plays games. As far as a commitment, I don't really see that they want that. This person could definitely be emotionally unavailable. So this ain't the type of person you call and talk to when you got problems. It's the type of person that calls you when they're ready to get off. This person is absolutely not ready for love, but they are 100% addicted to your energy. They see you as being marriage material, but this person just knows that they have to grow up a lot more to even be eligible for your ass. Okay. I will say though, this person, even though they may not be ready for commitment, they come off as somebody pretty humble, kind of grounded, maybe an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm. This person doesn't really have petty arguments with you. In fact, they're more like non-confrontational. Hmm. This person definitely has an obsession with you. They love touching you. They love the way you smell. They like that little smirk you give them when, <laughs> when they look into your eyes. But because you're such a genuine person and you're so worthy, this person is definitely being served karma. You could have expressed to this person that you wanted more than just a sneaky link. However, this person does make you excited. You know, the chemistry is dope. It's insane. And you guys cannot keep your hands off of each other. 
unfortunately, you may have discussed that you want it to be more than friends and this person just needs to mature to be more mature. Hmm. This person could definitely be losing their job or some type of stability here. This is a part of this person's karma because they open up a door with you knowing that you were marriage material and knowing what you were looking for with this person pretty much misled you. You found that this person was very manipulative, used different tactics to try to control you. You could have met this person in the winter or the fall time. Kind of started out as a little crush, then things got physical pretty quickly. But I'm not showing that it's working because I'm seeing that one person is way more committed and invested than the other person. And at this point, to be honest, I can see you losing interest, not putting in as much work as you may have put in in the beginning. And just feeling like this is a waste of time. So I see that you are definitely investing your energy and time more into yourself. The things that you want this person to do for you or with you, you're doing them alone or with friends. I definitely see that you're seeing this per person exactly for who they are. And I for sure know that this person is acting like they care, but they really don't. This person is definitely hiding something. So I definitely see that there are secrets, lies, and deception. I'm showing that this person is using someone for money. They also could have received some advice from friends that mm, wasn't really good. I can hear their friends telling them to just sleep with you and call it a day, right? Nothing serious. I see you being unbothered at this point. Could have been something that you really cared about once upon a time. But at this point, it's just, you may be feeling like this person is trying to put you in a competitive state, which is some shit that you're just not going to do. Yeah, so I see that you want commitment and this person does not. I also see that this person has an issue with pulling out if you're feminine energy. So this person doesn't want commitment, but they want to not pull out. If you're a feminine energy, you could really love when this masculine kisses the back of your neck. This could be the type of person that just comes up behind you and make you feel really warm. And you just love that. Okay. But I see also that you're waiting for new love. You're just really overwhelmed and tired of no compromising. Feeling like you're in the same cycle that's not growing. I'm definitely seeing a lot of energy of oral sex here. So I see that this is something that you guys both like. But this person is very indecisive about giving you some type of commitment. They're definitely avoiding conflict. So this may be a situation where you haven't heard from them for a few days or a week or so. This person is completely blocking their emotions. Spirit is asking that you trust your intuition. There's definitely some unseen options in love when it comes to this person. 
Hmm. This person hasn't been moving very fair. And this is the reason why they're being served karma. They're saying that nobody compares to you. This person has been listening to some bad advice from their friends or their family in regards to you. You could be very intuitive or psychic or something of that sort. And I'm seeing that this person hates that you always know what they're thinking. This could be the type of masculine energy if you're feminine here. That's very silent during sex. And you almost don't even know if they're enjoying it. You do, but you don't. You're confused. It's a lot of confusing ass energy with this person. And it's like they blame you for shit not working out. But this person continuously misleads you. Confuses you. Like... This person wants to dip and get a room. So this person maybe wants to go on a road trip or a flight somewhere with you. Get a room. And spend some time with you. This person is saying that they had their friends spy on you. They wanted to keep tabs on you. They were too afraid to reach out. I'm not happy. They're saying I'm not ready to take accountability for my actions. So this person definitely did something that they're afraid to tell you. This person definitely could have been flirting with someone. I'm definitely seeing a lot of oral sex energy here. This is someone that never expected to catch feelings for you, but something about your energy overwhelmed them. This is also the type of person that runs from their emotions when things get too challenging. I'm definitely seeing a sense of heartbreak and betrayal when it comes to lying and cheating. Definitely. Yeah, there definitely could be some delays in regards to this person reaching out to you. Spirit is telling me that this is a possible same-sex situation with whomever they were cheating with. Oh, okay, what else, Spirit? Yeah, definitely could be a same-sex situation here. This could be someone that checked your cell phone or you could have checked their cell phone before. Yeah, mass cheating energy here. It could have been with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. I'm saying that you're coming off as a very hard working person. Good decision maker. Down to earth. Very nurturing. Yeah, this person is definitely indecisive about this whole entire connection at this point. This is the reason why they've been moving so recklessly. It's a lot of cheating and betrayal here. This person is very rebellious, so they could be the type of masculine energy if you're a feminine that wants you to be submissive, but they don't know the proper steps to even get you to that point. This person is having a hard time being mature. <clears throat> hmm. I see that you're shining from within. I definitely see that you're healing. And getting over this situation so that you can move forward with your journeys, with your goals. Something about this person still wants to remain tied to you, no matter what, even though they know that they're not loyal and they don't want commitment. This is someone who wants to use you for your money. So if you make good money, you have a nice house, a nice car. This is the type of person that definitely likes to take advantage of people that they're dealing with as far as finances. 
this is someone who's having a hard time with financial stability at this time themselves. So they wear a mask to try to convince people, angel number 1515, 15, that they want more with them so that they will be comfortable with allowing them accesses, you know, access to their resources. This person is completely threatened by you because of how successful you are. Because of your take charge energy, because of your direct, clear communication, because you know what you want. This person is definitely threatened by you. They're very intimidated by you. This is mature energy. This person is also, like I said, having issues with their finances here. And they definitely will hustle up money by any means necessary. Wow, it's too early for this shit in a year. <clears throat> this person definitely keeps tabs on you. They try to find things that will secure their position as far as being able to access money from you. So this is the type of person that is capable of blackmailing. They will chase you down to try to have sex with you. They will look you up and see what you're doing when you're not around. This person is always in their head about you they constantly watch you this definitely could be someone that spent some time in prison they could be watching different tarot readers when it comes to you trying to find out how to understand you better this person definitely illegally stalks you they could be addicted to some type of drugs or alcohol issues or something that's not just but it's like some other shit yeah this person hates the fact that you always know everything that they're trying to hide from you. Even if you don't speak on it, your energy is so strong. They can pick up the fact that you, angel number 1717, 17, that you know it. So this person, they lie, but they're very uncomfortable with lying because they do understand that you really know the truth. So you didn't definitely told this person some shit about themselves to where they understand how your mind works a little bit at least could be a cancer pisces scorpio virgo taurus capricorn or gemini libra aquarius you got the uh king of cups reverse queen of pentacles reverse four of swords upright so this person is definitely going through a reflection time frame. Like I said, this person is definitely withdrawn. This is the type of person that likes you to kiss their ass because they like reassurance. Angel number 1818. 18. So this could be the type of person that's so much in their ego. You have to be the one to call them first or you won't hear from them. Shit like that. Just immature, childish behavior. So I'm picking up the energy that this person is very obsessive over you. They're really obsessive over your generosity. So if you're a very generous, down-to-earth, family-oriented person, this person is obsessed with that. But they're very moody, so you just never know what type of mood they're going to be in. Very unreliable energy. This is the type of person that will make plans for you or with you and never show up, right? This is the type of person that won't even call you to tell you that something came up. Like, that type of energy. I'm definitely seeing that this person is dealing with some inner feelings that they haven't expressed to anyone. They definitely are very materialistic. So when it comes to handling their emotions, that's always last if they get around to it. This person is definitely, um, you're, I can see that you are obsessing with yourself, not in a toxic way, but more in a, let me invest in myself. Let me go with what I can trust. I don't understand what's going to happen with this person. It's so, you know, unpredictable. Let me focus on something that I'm sure about. This person is very upset that you're not paying them the attention that you typically would be. But I feel strongly that it's more like 
why the hell do I need to always call you first? Why the hell do I need to tell you what I want over and over again? Why the hell can't you step up to the plate? Why the hell is you still lying? Like that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that somebody is sick of it. You're like, I'm not about to kiss your ass. A part, a part of you feel like this person might be kind of gay. Like, for real, for real. I'm going to be honest with you. And this person is really salty because of how smart you are. You would think that a person would be attracted by that. This person is intimidated by that. So we're dealing with the weak ass energy. Same shit, different day. Can't grow. This person's having a hard time not being a player. This is the reason why you're moving on. But it's just so sick that they're still obsessing over you even though you disconnected from this person. They really want to steal something from you. Whether it be your happiness, your energy, your money, your time, whatever. Your foundation. But this person is going to come to you in a way like they're not manipulative, right? But they still wear a mask. This person still does things inappropriately for other with other people for money. Like, I'm definitely seeing this. And this person is hooked. Like, so this is just a more deeper, you know, a deeper issue here, you know. It's a sad issue, the spirit says. Because when you think about it, you got the village here. Hold on. You feel me? So this person is just loose with how they move, you know? And if this commitment is some shit that you really want, shit, listen to your girl. Let the conflict go. You feel me? Because this is not, this is somebody who need to do more work on themselves. Spirit said that is the truth with the Ace of Swords. This person going to have you all up, tied up in your head. They need more healing. And that's just period. This person has trust issues. This is the reason why it's so hard for them to take the leap of faith with you. They could have went through a relationship in the past that really damaged them. And they still just need time to heal. But instead of just being upfront and honest about that, this person wants to keep some type of connection with you so that they can still have sex with you. Still maybe have you go out with them when they get bored. Or still have whatever the case may be. Feel like they have some type of control over you. So you definitely got somebody watching you through your social media platforms. Somebody that's cheap as hell. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Let's see where they mind at though, Gemini. <clears throat> I want to see where this person's mind is. Spirit, what is this person thinking when it comes to Gemini? They think that you psychic. <clears throat> this is someone that loves to watch you sleep. So they could have took a picture of you while you were asleep before or just said something to let you know that they were watching you while you were asleep. What else, Spirit? How else would Gemini know? This is someone, if this is a, whether this is a feminine or a masculine energy, their energy is very protective and masculine. This is someone that you could have had sex with the first time on a vacation. That's for somebody specific. So y'all first sexual interaction was on a vacation. Somebody feels like they're fighting a never ending battle. And it's like they're tired of going in these freaking circles. There's a lack of teamwork. Spirit is saying let that shit go. What else, Spirit? What else is this person thinking? They could have legal issues. This is someone who loves your breasts. They keep saying, I feel like I'm fighting a never-ending battle. But then it's the blame game here with the legal issues. Yeah, this person is saying they feel so trapped. They really want to quit their job and follow their dreams and they feel so out of place so that could be you or your person could be sick of your job and just ready to do something new with life what else spirit what are the messages for gemini
This person took entirely too long. They move entirely too slow. And this, you sick of it. So there's about to be a breakthrough here with this person. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I see you just being ready to heal. You know, you just want to heal, get over this relationship, complete the cycle. You're not interested anymore. It no longer makes you happy or excited like it once did. It, it's an imbalance, I feel. It's one-sided, lack, uh, lack of collaboration here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. This person has you stressed, but this person's also stressed too because it's like they know they have to do healing, but they refuse to. And they keep this. You're not. See, you're the best person that this ever this person has ever met, but you're not the only person that this person has lost due to their inability to change. So this has been a cycle for this person at this point. Yeah, Spirit is saying that they're losing their protection here with the Seven of Wands reverse. Because it's like they're moving so messy that it's like the way that karma works. It's so sad because I see, I definitely see an offer here though. So, Spirit, is this person going to change? I definitely see money coming in here. I see you doing something that you really love that fulfills your soul and getting money for it. Definitely a new financial opportunity. I also see a soulmate connection with either an Aries, water sign, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, is, what is the, uh, the outcome for this person's action? Bad news. Spirit said, let that shit go. Whoever this resonate with, let this go. This person is not going to change, okay? They're still moving reckless. They still, yeah, they're not changing, okay? So those are the messages I have for you today, Gemini. If it resonate or if you like this reading, make sure you thumbs up the video, like, and subscribe so that you'll be notified for your future readings. Peace.